Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're really well today. Um, I want to show you today one of my favourite sides to make in a Thermomix, and this is a broccoli sauté. It's a whole of three ingredients. I bet you've got these ingredients, and it's so incredibly simple. It is absolutely beautiful when you partner with something like chilli or almonds, or in most of the time we we actually put some feta, some homemade feta on it when it's done, and that's how it goes on the plate. So let's get cooking, and I'll show you how it goes. Two to three garlic cloves sliced. Some oil, 15 grams. Now it says that uh, sliced garlic, right? Mine's not sliced. So my little tip here, whoops, a little heavy on that. I'm not gonna put chili flakes in. Now, before we get to broccoli, I actually wanna chop this. So my biggest piece of advice around this recipe is you can slice up your uh, garlic yourself or you could take a couple of seconds in your Thermomix to let your Thermomix do it for you. Look at that, three seconds and you've chopped your garlic down. So, so good. Now we're going to push that down the sides. No, oh, actually, I don't really need to. It's quite sliced down there, isn't it? There's barely any up the sides. Happy days. All right, back to our recipe now. And now we're going to add in our broccoli florets. So I've got a selection back here of both floret pieces, but I've also got some broccolini. We love our broccoli. We also quite like it cold. So I like to make a fair bit of this. I might actually, I'm a bit generous there with those stems. I might just chop the stems off. Maybe. Yeah, there's his knife. Just so that they fit down better into the bowl. The stems are all edible as well, so don't go throwing them away, as are the leaves. Love some broccoli. It's got such a beautiful sweet flavour to it. Okay. That'll do it. Close. 320. That'll be right. Okay, one teaspoon of salt to taste. Teaspoon's a fair bit. I actually put in more like half a teaspoon and then I adjust it later if necessary. So just check that, okay? Now we're putting our splash guard on. So this is a function of the high heat. Sorry, this is using the function of high heat with our Thermomix. Um, and this comes with your TM6. You can get it for TM5 um, as well. It will fit, but I don't know that you necessarily need it. The idea behind this is it lets out the humidity so your veggies actually get sauteed off beautifully in there. Goes on top like that, and now we've got seven minutes of sauteing. And I'll come back after seven minutes and show you what these look like. We'll see you soon. Okay, the seven minute saute is done, and let me show you the final product. So it says sprinkle with two teaspoons of sliced almonds, some more chili flakes, and serve. But look at that, guys, that is beautiful. So that was 348 grams, I think, out of 400. Perfectly cooked off. It is. Yummy, very yummy. Excuse me, eating on camera. Give this a go in your Thermomix. One second. If you have a TM6, I would highly recommend giving this recipe a go. So simple, the perfect side every time. You know exactly what's in it. Add the chili, the feta, whatever you want to put on at the end. And um, yeah, give it a go, tell me what you think. So simple, so easy. Definitely a highlight of the TM6 is that high heat functionality. Um, you can't do it in a 5 or a 31. So I am sorry to you guys. This one's not for you. You'll have to steam your veggies rather than saute. But definitely an amazing recipe. Give it a go. You will find it on the uh, US cookie do. So you have to change your filter to find it. But well worth knowing how to do and having a play with. And uh, if you can help in any way, by all means, reach out. Please like and subscribe and um, so you can get daily inspiration for your thermomixing, which is what I'm super passionate about. And do reach out if I can help in any way. So otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.